So once this is done, so let's write a program to send the data from the user data from to the database. So for that, let me again go to the uh, client side here. So into this add user.jsx. So inside here, so first of all, so we just have to create an initial state for the user form. So for that, you can just simply type const and just type users and inside here. So just open the curly braces and just create name, email, and address so just type address and once this is done so just go below here and also so we just have to use the uh, user state hook so which is basically to manage the uh, user form data so just type const so just type user and set user function so we will later uh, set the user or update the user but for now you can just use the uh, user state hook and inside here so we will just pass the users so below here so let's simply create a function called input handler so which is basically for handling the changes in the input field so first of all so we'll just create a const and just type input handler so just create an input handler function and just pass the parameter something called e uh, which is for event uh, so the event is basically the event object triggered by the input sends and so let's create an error function here and inside here so just type const name and value so just type e dot target so e dot target refers to the element that triggered the event and this name represents the name attribute of the input field and this value represents the value so this name is the uh, name attribute and the value is basically the current value uh, entered by the user. So once this is done, so now we will be using the spread operator. So we will be using the spread operator to update the user state with the new value of the property specified by this name. So for that, just type uh, set user. So just type set user, which is provided by the React hooks. So we have already uh, used set user here. So here, so we will just uh type something like dot 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 user which is uh, basically a split operator and inside here so we will pass name and value so here the split operator is used to copy the current value of user state and then update the specified property of the new value so once this is done so now just go below here just below this id and just type on change event so just type on change so on change event so whenever we type something so we just have to call this input lander function so similarly just simply copy this and just paste below here and similarly paste below here as well so, so to test this uh, input handler so we can just simply add console log here just before this so we can just simply type console.log and just type name comma value and just go into this full stack and open the inspect element here and now if i just try to type something like here demo so you can see the name is typing successfully demo at the gmail.com and the demo address so this is working fine the input handler is working fine so now let's uh write the code for adding the user into the database whenever we click onto the submit button so for that so first of all so we just have to go into this form here and just simply type on submit so just type on submit so we just have to call the functions so let's create a function inside here so let's name it something like uh, submit form so just type const submit form uh, and let's make it asynchronous function so inside here just pass the event and so we just need to prevent the uh, default value so just type prevent default so so we cannot type the empty values so if there is no empty value so we just have to simply post uh, into the database so for that just type await so we will be using the xgs.post so make sure to import this xgs as well and so we just have to put the url here so just go into this uh, postman so since we are using this url uh, api slash user so let me just simply copy that url and just type user so once you send the data into the database so we can just give some message something like dot then and just give the response so just uh, give the response in console something like the user created successfully 
so we will later uh, get this message from the back end so for displaying into the react hot toast for now so so for simply for demo so we are doing this and so if there's any error so we can just simply cast the error by typing catch just cast the error and just type error and just simply give console.log and just type error so simply save that and once this is done so whenever we uh, the user is created so we just have to navigate into the home page so if i just see here so this is showing some error because on summit we are working on on summit so let's uh type here type the same name summit form so let me just paste inside here so this should look good now so whenever we click onto the summit by typing the name email and address so we just have to uh go into the home page and similarly so the data should have been posted into the database so for that so we have used the axios.post for word for navigating so we can just use the use navigate so just go at the top here and just type use navigate and so here so we will be using the use navigate here so just go below here and just type const and just simply type navigate and just type use navigate so now we can use the uh, use navigate once the data is successfully created so once the user is created successfully so we can just navigate into the home page so once this is done so if i just go at the bottom here so here you can see the type of the button is button so we just have to change this into uh, submit so just go here and change it into the type will be submit and if you just save here and if you just go into the browser here and click onto this add user and let me just also open the console here so let me just reload so we will also fix this one as well so this is saying the class did you mean class name so we just have to change the class name as well so here just type the name something like uh, ram and email something like ram at the red gmail.com and address you can say something like India and if you just click on submit so you can see so this is displaying uh, fine here so you can see ram ram at the gmail.com and you can also see India and similarly so you can also see the message the user created successfully as well and also let me just check into the database as well so let me just go into the database and if i just reload here so you can see so this has been added into the database as well so this is working completely fine